In this presentation, we will talk about the process behind ordering food via the online food delivery service Uber Eats. The platform launched in August 2014 as a division within Uber, the ride-sharing service. The mobile application allows people to order food from their location via the app and have it delivered directly to them. Online food delivery services have become increasingly popular over the last few years. Just last year, the UK ranked third amongst major economies for its usage. Using Bittner & Colleagues' service blueprinting approach, we will describe key actions from the customer's and the provider's perspective and discuss how mobile technology impacts on the service experience of Uber Eats. We will also highlight three potential fail points or bottlenecks that could affect the customer's experience negatively. At the end, we will provide possible solutions of how Uber Eats could address these problems. I'm going to hand over to Daniel now. Thank you, Sandro. I would now like to summarize what we decided were the three critical customer actions in ensuring a success for the Uber Eats service. Number one, allow the app to access your location. Our experiences with the Uber Eats app, as well as the literature we looked into, supported this being a critical customer action due to the app containing the necessary information to recommend the most relevant content on their service. Number two, search and select menu choices. This was deemed a critical customer action as it is the stage in the service blueprint where the customer is actually selecting the physical product, their order. This action can also be argued to have greater importance when considering the loss of human contact for this particular service. And finally, number three, tracking the order. This action is critical in ensuring a positive service experience as it prepares the customer for the final on-stage action of the service process in which they meet their courier and receive the order. I would now like to hand over to Courtney. Uber Eat uses the combination of human-to-computer and human-to-human -human interactions to maintain an effective and efficient interface for the user. Critical elements from key employee actions are beginning with the user interface, an information architecture that provides the majority of the customer experience. Secondly, customer service provides accountability. In a digital environment, the security of consumer data, transparency, and user help are crucial elements to maintaining customer loyalty. Finally, the physical, physical aspect, the delivery driver, who is the key element to providing the service promised. Key interactions of service are no longer emphasized in face-to-face -face involvement, but instead a greater relationship with online services. This process begins by understanding strong touch points in the service blueprint that influence the customer's experience. The home page provides the aesthetic and appeal needed to feel comfortable to continue to complete a service. It provides a clear customer journey. The add-on option provides the consumer with the potential needs and recognizes their potential wants. This allows the consumer to have a completed meal order and remain with a positive outlook on the experience. Finally, the live order tracker provides psychological relief to the consumer and facilitates understanding and managing of the service quality as well as provides a memorable experience. I will be talking about the bottlenecks and fail points. When a specific restaurant search is unavailable, the application suggests similar restaurants. This may confuse users in finding that restaurant and is also time consuming. Also, the images provided are edited and unrealistic. This is misleading. Secondly, when a text was sent to rider to ring the bell, he replied with the letter K. It is a slang word which is unprofessional. Customers may find it rude as well. Thirdly, at the time of payment, due to system error, the order was not processed. Uber Eats did not save any data and everything had to be done again. This can be very frustrating and Uber Eats may lose their customers. Moving on to recommendations. There should be seamless transition on the app and clear information should be provided. Uber Eats should simply inform customers that the searched restaurant is unavailable but we have similar restaurants which the customer may be interested in. As far as the pictures are concerned, customers favor realistic images posted by other users rather than edited images by restaurants. Secondly, default messages for the rider should be introduced to have smooth conversations. Thirdly, 
data of the error should be sent to support team and fixed as soon as possible. Application should be regularly updated. If customer is not using the app because of the techn technical error, he should be reminded via mobile notifications or by sending discount coupons. That's it. Thank you very much.